Hello, I am Pascal Kulcha from Flashlines and in our first tutorial you learned already how to create flashy shapes in our projection. But now it will get even better because you can also animate them. There are four presets for animation and some other settings to make it fit to your mood. Before I start playing around with the animation I deactivate the editing. Now the viewport is disabled and I can't accidentally add new points. That's quite important. Let's start with the four animations. The menu for this is right here on the left at the bottom. The first one, Define Shapes, highlights all the shapes you added to your viewport in a random order. The second button shows you Wild Shapes, which are shapes with four random points of your setup. Third preset is the Outlines. Well, that speaks for itself, doesn't it? And the fourth connects two random points to a line. Now let's have a look at the colors. It's down here on the right. By default it starts with the first setting for very colorful and saturated colors. The second scheme is with less saturation. We also have only grayscale colors over here. And when you choose pick, you can move your finger in the color palette and the projection will change to the color you choose. Blue is cool. Red is cool. Yeah. But for the next demonstration, I will go back to the colorful scheme. Because over here, there are several more settings for your projection. The first one defines how many shapes shall be seen at once. An empty projection is much more flashy than a full screen, for example. Then here we have the transparency of the shapes. It is of special interest when you choose the wild shapes because you can see they add nicely to each other. The fading helps to smoothen up your blending or make it appear very hard and flashy. Check it out. Isn't it hard and flashy? Yeah hard and flashy. Quite a big role for every animation plays the timing. Nothing different here at Flashlines. Down here in the right corner you can influence the speed. Flashlines just like music software thinks in BPM that stands for beats per minute. On every beat one shape appears and another one is deleted. Right here you see the speed. It's set to 160 BPM right now. By tapping on it I can set up an exact BPM or by tapping a rhythm on the tap button several hits long it will be generated automatically so you can adjust it to the music you hear. You can pause the whole projection for a still screen anytime and hit play to continue. And down here last but not least is the great flash button. Every time you hit it a random shape flashes brightly and then disappears. You can change the animation preset during this and also the speed which influences the fade out. Well, that's it so far with the animations. Now you are prepared to have great light installations and fun with your projector. We are keen to see your results on Facebook. Bye bye.